Think artificial sweeteners help you lose weight? Think again. These zero-calorie sweeteners may be hijacking your metabolism, disrupting key hormones, and even increasing your risk of obesity and diabetes. But how? Today we'll break down the science behind artificial sweeteners, their effects on your body, and whether they are truly safe or just another marketing scam. Artificial sweeteners were introduced as a healthy alternative to sugar, offering the same sweet taste without calories. But did you know they are up to 600 times sweeter than regular sugar? Let's look at some common types. Aspartame, known as equal or nutra sweet, is found in diet sodas, chewing gum, and sugar-free yogurts. Sucralose, branded as Splenda, appears in sugar-free syrups, protein bars, and even healthy snacks. Saccharin, marketed as sweet and low, is one of the oldest artificial sweeteners and is used in some soft drinks. Stevia and monk fruit are marketed as natural but are still processed, with some metabolic effects. And lastly, sugar alcohols like erythritol and xylitol are common in sugar-free gums and keto-friendly sweets. Artificial sweeteners are marketed as zero calorie, but that doesn't mean they have no effect on your metabolism. In fact, studies show they can still trigger insulin spikes, increase cravings, and confuse your body's natural metabolic responses. Sucralose and aspartame trick the brain into expecting sugar causing insulin release, even when there's no real sugar intake. This leads to insulin resistance, making it harder for your body to regulate blood sugar. Studies show long-term artificial sweetener use increases the risk of type 2 diabetes. Artificial sweeteners stimulate dopamine, the brain's reward center, but don't satisfy the body's need for real calories. This leads to overeating and increased cravings for high-carb foods. A 2017 study in Nature found that artificial sweeteners cause people to eat up to 30% more calories later in the day. Beyond metabolism, artificial sweeteners can interfere with hormones that regulate appetite, fat storage, and even reproductive health. Leptin signals satiety or fullness, while ghrelin triggers hunger. Artificial sweeteners suppress leptin, making you feel less satisfied after eating. Increased ghrelin levels lead to overeating and weight gain over time. Studies suggest artificial sweeteners elevate cortisol levels, increasing fat storage, especially belly fat. This can make weight loss even harder, despite consuming zero-calorie foods. High artificial sweetener consumption is linked to lower testosterone levels in men and estrogen dominance in women. Estrogen dominance symptoms include fat gain, mood swings, and irregular periods. Low testosterone symptoms include fatigue, low energy, and muscle loss. A 2019 study in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology found artificial sweeteners may alter hormone receptor sensitivity, leading to long-term metabolic disturbances. Did you know your gut bacteria play a huge role in metabolism and hormone balance? Artificial sweeteners can damage this delicate ecosystem, leading to obesity, inflammation, and metabolic diseases. Sucralose and saccharin reduce gut microbiome diversity, leading to poor digestion and nutrient absorption. A study in cell metabolism found that sucralose altered over 50% of gut bacteria in test subjects within two weeks. Artificial sweeteners weaken intestinal walls, causing a condition known as leaky gut syndrome. This allows toxins to enter the bloodstream, triggering chronic inflammation, insulin resistance, and even autoimmune disorders. Not all sugar substitutes are equally bad. Some options may be safer, but moderation is key. Best options, stevia in its pure form, not processed blends monk fruit extract, raw honey in small amounts due to its nutrients, coconut sugar which has a slightly lower glycemic impact. Worst options to avoid, sucralose, commonly known as Splenda, which alters gut bacteria and spikes insulin. Aspartame, found in equal and nutra sweet, linked to neurotoxicity and weight gain. Saccharin, marketed as sweet and low, causes digestive issues and gut imbalances. 
Now that you know the truth, what should you do? Here are some action steps. Read labels carefully. Artificial sweeteners hide in protein powders, energy drinks, and even so-called health foods. Choose whole foods. Natural sugars from fruits are far better than processed sweeteners. Use natural alternatives in moderation. Stevia and monk fruit can work but should not be overused. Focus on metabolic health. Stabilize blood sugar with healthy fats, protein, and fiber. What's your experience with artificial sweeteners? Have you noticed any effects? Drop a comment below and let's discuss. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more science-backed health content on AlphaFlex.